Hi, season's greetings, and welcome to the 17th annual Mississippi Jazz Foundation Awards and Concert Show. I'm your host for this evening, Palmer Williams Jr. Now, of course, we're virtual. And we would so much rather be right there in Jackson, Mississippi doing this. But prayerfully, next year around this time, we will be there and we'll have a really, really good time in person, COVID free. Now, before I get started, there are a few people that have made this very, very possible, especially financially. And they are our major sponsors. Of those major sponsors, we have Atmos Energy, Hines County Human Resource Agency, and the Greater Jackson Arts Council. We also have Congressman Benny Thompson, the city of Vicksburg, Hibbert Neal, V.A. Patterson, Shirley Davis Hopkins, Renault P. Parnell, Catchings Insurance Company, Bob Boyd Honda, Howard D. Catchings, Robert Williams, Heron Gear Chevrolet Company, Ray D. Burton, Charles E. Stokes, Hines County Tax Assessor, Mary Franklin Bank Plus, Ronald P. Davis Sr., and Francis Hutchins. Now, also, we want you to stay in touch with the Mississippi Jazz Foundation on Facebook. So make sure you look up the Mississippi Jazz Foundation. And now, let's get ready for some awards to be awarded to some very, very worthy candidates. This gentleman is the host of Jazz Reflections, a native of New Orleans, and he grew up in an environment where jazz flourished. While growing up in New Orleans, he was a heavy listener to WWOZ and cites the late Bob French and Mike Gorey as his primary influences in announcing the music. His laid-back delivery has been successful in turning new ears onto the music and garnering him a wide base of fans and supporters to WJSU. And so now, our leadership award goes to Mr. Gerald Howard. And now, our Distinguished Service Award. This young lady grew up in a musical family in Shreveport, Louisiana. She received a BA degree in music from Mississippi Valley State University and a master's in music from the University of Mississippi. She has graced the stage with numerous artists, such as B.B. King, The Four Tops, Al Green, Harold Melvin, and The Blue Notes, just to name a few. In the early 90s, she also began singing background for Ernie Johnson and Willie Clayton. She travels extensively with a seven-piece band performing on several major festivals each and every year. For 30 years, she has worked as the band and choral director at Vicksburg Catholic School, and she is currently a band director at Vicksburg High School. Ladies and gentlemen, our Distinguished Service Award goes to Miss Vicki Baker. And now the award for our Living Legends Award. This gentleman is a quiet, reserved gentleman that has far surpassed even his own expectations. He has served as a high school teacher, administrator, collegiate band director, and minister of music over the span of 38 plus years. He continues to let God use him in these and other capacities. He's also a very, very accomplished author. Please put a virtual hand together for our Living Legend Award, Mr. Beret Thigpen. And now the award for Aspiring Artist Award. This young lady graduated from Jim Hill International Baccalaureate Program in May of 2019. She graduated in the top 10 of her class. This young lady has always had a love for music. She's been playing the piano since she was five. She was a member of the Jim Hill Marching and Concert Band where she played the piccolo flute. She also plays piano both as a hobby and competitively. Her most recent competition was the Omega Talent Hunt. She is currently a sophomore at Alcorn State University and is majoring in biochemistry. Mm. She is a President's List Scholar and at the end of May 2020 school year. Since attending Alcorn State University, she has been inducted into Alpha Chi Sigma and the National Society of Leadership and Success. She is also a member of the Girls Coalition at ASU, and her career goal is to become a dentist. Ladies and gentlemen, our awardee is none other than Miss Jayla Holloway. Now, for the time you've all been waiting for, we want to again say congratulations to all our awardees 
but now it's time for the concert. I've known this young man, and I say that lightly, he's getting a little older now, but I've known this young man for quite some time, and he has become more than just an associate in this music and theater business that we both have been actively involved in, but he's become even more of a friend. And with his mother on the board there, Miss Ann Burden, truly, this has become a family affair. So I would like for you to sit back, relax, and really enjoy. Go ahead and run to the refrigerator, get your favorite beverage, and come on back and enjoy the beautiful sounds of the one and only Mr. Mike Burden and his all-star band.
I'm sick, I'm sick and tired of this. Is there a doctor in the house? Cause I need one quick. I'm sick of the way that we treat each other. It's brothers killing brothers, children disrespecting their mothers. And to top it all off, I can't get no relief. If I'm in trouble, y'all, I can't even call the police. You never know, they might profile me. Cause I'm a black man from Jackson, Mississippi. Come on and say the top top. in the house, cause I need one quick, I'm sick of the way that we treat each other, that it's brothers killing brothers, children disrespecting their mothers, and to top it all off, I can't get no relief, if I'm in trouble y'all, I can't even call the police, you never know, they might profile me. Black man from Jackson, Mississippi. Come on, let's say the now, now. You know what, y'all? You know what? 
the people always messing it up. Yeah, yeah. Say people always. Chicago, all the way to the Middle East, and I also believe black lives matter, and all lives matter, you know what, yeah, you know what, yeah, says people always messing it up, yeah, yeah, says people always Messing it up, yeah, yeah. Hold us up. Look, DC go go for y'all. What's wrong about that? I'm Ann Burton, president of the Mississippi Jazz Foundation. On behalf of the Jazz Foundation Board, I'd like to thank each of you for being here and sharing with us in our 17th annual Night of Musical Artistry. Thanks to our sponsors for supporting us all of these years to bring to you great jazz music. Tonight we have as our guest Mike Burton and band, I would like for you to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the music, although we cannot all be together in one room. Hopefully, next year, we will be back together and things will be a little bit normal and we can see each other. But right now, we will enjoy the music of Mike 
Burton, and the band. I'd like to thank you all so much again. Hope you are safe and hope you are well. And I do wish each of you a very Merry Christmas and a safe and happy New Year. Thank you so much. Enjoy the evening.
everybody just pray for America, Syria, Nigeria, North Korea. And everybody just pray for Russia, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iraq and Iran. Yeah. Everybody just pray for Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore, New York, Cleveland, Ferguson. Everybody just pray for fathers and mothers and sisters and brothers for each other. Yeah. Everybody just pray. I pray for you, pray for me, pray for my hometown too, pray for Jackson, Mississippi, come on Phil.
that song was actually featuring my daughter, so shout out to Layla and Kaden. Layla Kai, Kaden Ray. <laughs> My daughters what they wanted to be when they grow up. I said just be better than me, but they know that. I said, but you could be a queen. You can be the biggest thing that the world has ever seen. Do you know what I mean? You can be a giant. You can be whatever you want to be. Just try it Yeah, yeah You can be a lawyer You can be a doctor You can be the president Can't nobody stop you Try it Yeah, yeah yeah. Ask my daughters what they wanted to be When they grow up I said just be better than me but they know that I said, but you can be a queen You can be the biggest thing That the world has ever seen But do you know what I mean? You can be a giant You can be whatever you want to be Just try it Time for my daughters, y'all. Layla and Katie. Way back in the day, uh, I was in high school. My parents sent me up to Berkeley College of Music for the summer program. And uh, back in those days, Berkeley would send out a CD 
um, with, uh, I guess, with their students performing for this big blowout concert they would have. And one of the songs on the CD was a song called And So It Goes by Billy Joel. And I hadn't heard the song before, but uh, hearing it on that CD, um, I'm dating myself in the CDs, but I really fell in love with the song. And, you know, since then, I've always wanted to redo the song. And uh, just this last year on this, my, my most recent uh, project, Walk With Me, I've reached out to my buddy PJ Morton to collaborate with me on this song. And he, he sang it beautifully. And uh, so we're going to do that for you guys now. And shout out to PJ for, uh, for performing with us remotely from his studio in New Orleans. So here we go. One more song for y'all. Once again, thank you to the Mississippi Jazz Foundation for doing this again for so many years, uh, raising funds for public schools and music, music and arts programs back in Jackson, Mississippi. I got to say thank you to my guys up here, Jelani Jackson on guitar, Phil Davis on the keys, Trey Gilbert on the bass, John Roberts on the drums. Um, got one more song for you. It's uh, my latest release called Let the Church Say. 
once again, co-produced by Jelani Jackson. Um, you know, you know, you guys might say, you know, a lot of these guys' songs uh, have a lot of political messages, kind of, you know, message music or whatever. But some of my favorite stuff is Marvin Gaye, um, uh, Donny Hathaway, Stevie Wonder, Aretha Franklin, a lot of people that were speaking to the music, you know, speaking to the times that they were living in. And, you know, it's a lot been going on this year. Um, and this song in particular speaks to police brutality. And, um, you know, you know. I, you know, even with all this going on, I still see the best in people. I see the best in our human nature, you know, so I just hope and pray for us that we get it right and, uh, you know, and see the greater good in all of us. Uh, but here we go. Just called Let the Church Say.
let the church say Cause I don't know what else to say Let the choir say Let the church say Let the church say, I don't know what else to say. Last time. Let the choir say, let the church say, I don't know what else to say. Wow. Was that phenomenal? Let's give up another virtual hand clap for all of our awardees tonight, as well as for this wonderful band that just smoked your screen right there in front of your own face. Look, it has been a pleasure once again as Palmer Williams Jr., your host for the 17th annual Mississippi Jazz Foundation Award and Concert Show. It has always been a pleasure, and I really want to thank the National board for just allowing me to come here and really enjoy this gig and enjoy the fellowship of the band members and every one of you at home on your screens. Once again, have a safe and eventful holiday that is just going to be filled with so much joy. And we pray that your family is not affected by anything as far as this pandemic and that you will only prosper from this point on. God bless you and have a Merry Christmas.